Welcome back, little ones. Welcome back, family members. Glad you all can make it back to another glorious day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And let's all give Father God grace. Give him, give him, don't, no, he gives us grace. Hallelujah. Let's give Father God all the honor, praise, and glory that is due him. Praise his holy name this morning. Give him praise. He's greatly to be praised, by the way. He blessed us and woke us up this morning. He carried us on our way. He began us on our day. Let us give him praise. Hallelujah. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Father God loves you more. Let us get right into prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, we come here this morning and say thank you. Thank you, my Father. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we say thank you. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for who thou art. Thou art our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Abba, Father, we love you, we honor you, we praise you, we worship you, we exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise our holy name. You're ready to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify thy holy name. To God be all the honor, praise, and glory. We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Every being of us belong to you. Every member of our body belong to you and only you, Father God. We say use us for your glory and your glory alone. Everything I do is for your glory and your glory alone, my Father. And we love you with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Father God, we know that you are the one and only true God, and thy name is faithful and true. There's no God before you, no God beside you, and there will be no God after you. Glory be to God. You are omnipotent, you reign it, you are in charge, you always have been, you always will be, Father God. And you have the victory. The victory is already won. It's only a matter of timing. It's your will, your way, your timing. And you and us and we and you, we have the victory. You and us and we and you, there ain't nothing we can't do. And you and us, you strengtheneth us, Father God. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, thank you for waking us up this morning. If we got it wrong yesterday, we had the opportunity to get it right. You've given us a chance to start over again. To praise your holy name. To give you the honor, praise, and glory that's due you. To wake up this morning and be thankful and content wherever we may be. Wherever we may be in our walk, be content. Let us not uh, lean to our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all thy ways, so that you may direct our paths, because everything you do is for our own good, whether we understand it or not. We thank you, Father God. We can never say enough thank you. Thank you, Father God, for you being the Most High, the Holy One of Israel, our Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth. You are awesome. Your works are wondrous. Thank you for the works, the wondrous works that you do to the children of men. For the children of men, we thank you, Father God, for your outer song. We thank you, Father God, for your long suffering and your not easy anger traits that we all need. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy. If not for your grace and mercy, we would not be here. We thank you, Father God, for loving us, loving us when we could not love ourselves. Thank you for keeping us and not forsaking us, and we shall never forsake thee. Thank you, Father God, for our family members, loved ones, friends, strangers, and enemies, Father God. We thank you for them. We learn in every day. We're growing every day. By uh, taking heed and being mindful of any and everything that we say and do. Help us, Father God, to guide our eyes, heart, mind, and soul at all times. Because he was waiting to pounce, even at the door. And we won't let him in. No, we won't let him in. There's no place or space in us for him whatsoever. Not in our heart, not in our mind, not in our body, not in our soul. Not any part of our soul. Not any member of our body from head to toe. Not welcome. Not anyone connected to it. He was not, not welcome at all. No, there's no way that evil can have anything to do with darkness. None. None whatsoever. And we're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. Living a life of living Christ like and living a life of righteousness for ye name's sake. We proclaim Jesus Christ in you alone. No, we won't let evil in. No. A holy, pure, righteous, knowing no sin life was given for us to have life. So our lives don't belong to us and our vessels are holy. For our Father which art in heaven is holy. And these holy vessels belong to the Holy Spirit. And he alone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all men to be the head of their home. Be holy, courageous men of God. Head in their family in the path of righteousness for ye name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. For thou art with us, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou preparest the table before us in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anoint our head with oil. Thy cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 
Father God, we plead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we plead uh, the blood of Jesus over our home, over the foundation of our home, over each and every one of us in our home, our going and our coming, over our belongings and our possessions, over those listeners and those in the body of Christ. Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you place a head of protection around our home, around the foundation of our home, around each and every one of us in our home, our going and our coming, over our belongings and our possessions, over those listeners, all the listeners and those in the body of Christ. And Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you please bless our home, bless the foundation of our home, bless each and every one of us in our home, our going and our coming, bless our belongings and our possessions, bless the listeners, all the listeners and those in the body of Christ. And Father God, we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, as we go through this day, let us be mindful. Let us be mindful of what we say and what we do. Help us, Father God. Help your children. Father God, we want to be counted worthy to be caught up in that rapture moment. Change in a twinkle of an eye to that glorious body. Fight that good fight of faith and reign with you and live with you through eternity. But we know we can do nothing of our own. It's all you, Father God. We say thank you. And we know that your grace is sufficient for us all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us strive each and every day in our marriage, in our work, in our play, any and everything that we do. Be mindful of you, Father God. Help us to do that. And if we haven't given our lives to Christ, I don't know what we're waiting for. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you give your life to Christ today before it's too late. Before it's too late, please give your life to Christ. And if you're falling away for whatever reason, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will repent and turn from your wicked ways and receive the Lord and into your life to be your Lord and Savior and serve Him in sincerity and truth with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray and we seal this prayer to you, my Father. We can never say enough thank you, Father God. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and everything that you do, have done, and will do. Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you let your will be done in our lives, in, our fam in the lives of our family members, our marriage, our home, our children, uh, our grandchildren and great-grandchildren, if we have any. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, for your will to be done in our lives, not our will. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for our president to do what is right, that he would uh, acknowledge you in all his ways. That he, would, and, um, that he be not ignorant of Satan's advice and do not look for the accolades of men, but do your will and be obedient. And also we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, for you to comfort any and all that are in need of comfort. Many are in need of comfort all over the world, including the saints, Father God. We ask that you comfort any and all that are in need of comfort. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray, Father God. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all the laws of abortion to be aborted. Right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all laws of abortion to be aborted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all the safe havens to be built. For all the safe havens to be built. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray, Father God, for the present, for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We know that evil is running rampant and you must do what you must do, Father God. We pray for your will to be done, not our will, on earth as it is in heaven. And Father God... We pray that what you say, we know that what you say will come true. It will not come back void. It will not come back void. It always comes true. What you say will be done. No matter what timing, no man knows the day or the hour or the time, but it will be done. Um, that all the riches that were stored up by the wicked and, and the riches, that it be and the rich, that it be given to the poor, given to those uh, that are in ministry. And Father God, for whomever you intend for it to go to, we pray that it gets to them and we say thank you and we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that they do your will with it, Father God. Whatever, is your, whatever your will may be, may they do your will with it. But, you know, whatever it is that they receive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and everything that you do have done and will do. We love you, we honor you, we praise you, we worship you, we exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise our holy name. You worship to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify that holy name to God. We all honor, honor, praise, and glory. We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Every member of our body belongs to you and only you, Father God. We say, use us for your glory and your glory alone. And everything I do is for your glory and your glory alone, my Father. And you greatly to be praised, by the way. And we love you with an everlasting love, more love and safety. And we say this prayer to you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, with and holy kiss.
And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, if you haven't given your life to Christ, you have the opportunity to do so right here, right now. Please do so. Have you heard the good news? The good news is Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Yes, he's coming back sooner than you think. And he's coming back for a spotless, blemished, unblemished bride. A spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. And if you are ready to do what is right and receive Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and Savior, then please say this prayer. And don't just say it. Mean it from your heart. You're going to receive him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. And you're going to seek him in sincerity and truth with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And please say this prayer. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I am sorry, and please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you died on the cross and shed your holy sinless blood and was risen from the dead three days later after being crucified. Help me to seek eternal life Live a life of holiness, a life pleasing and acceptable to you. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Father God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To be counted worthy. To be caught up. In that rapture moment. Changed. And a twinkling of an eye. To that glorious body. And live. And reign with you. To eternity. Thank you. Father God, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, please repent for your sins. That means you're going to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. You're not going to sin on purpose. Glory be to God. And you're going to be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you in your walk with Christ. And remember, it's not a religion. It's a personal relationship between you and the Lord thy God, a commitment and love. Father God has a personal relationship with each and every one of his children. He knows who we are, and we know his voice, and we answer to none other. Glory be to God. We in the body of Christ, we welcome you, my new brothers and sisters to the body of Christ. May we edify one another, pray with and pray for one another, pray without ceasing, fast, bear one another's burdens, give love and charity, because they cover a multitude of sin. Glory be to God. We in the body of Christ, we welcome you, my brother and sister, to the body of Christ. We love you, and God loves you more. God bless you. We're going into scripture, and today, Father God has given me Job. I'm going to read chapters 16 through 19. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Job, chapter 16. Then Job answered and said, I have heard many such things. Miserable comforters are ye all. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeneth thee that thou answerest? I also could speak as ye do. If your soul were in my soul's stead, I could heap up words against you and shake mine head at you. But I would strengthen you with my mouth, and the moving of my lips should assuage your grief. Though I speak, my grief is not assuaged, and though I forbear, what am I eased? But now he hath made me weary. Thou hast made desolate all my company, and thou hast filled me with wrinkles, which is a witness against me. And my leanness rising up in me beareth witness to my face. He teareth me in his wrath, who hateth me. He gnasheth upon me with his teeth. Mine enemy sharpeneth his eyes upon me. They have gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They have gathered themselves together against me. God hath delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he hath broken me asunder. He hath also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. 
His archers compass me round about. He cleaveth my reins asunder, and doth not spare. He poureth out my gall upon the ground. He breaketh me with breach upon breach, and runneth upon me like a giant. I have sold sackcloth upon my skin, and defiled my horn in the dust. My face is foul with weeping, and on my eyelids is the shadow of death. Not for any injustice in my hands, also my prayer is pure. O earth, cover not thou my blood, and let my cry have no place. Also now, behold, my witness is in heaven, and my record is on high. My friends scorn me, but mine eye poureth out tears unto God. O oh, that one might plead for a man with God, as a man pleadeth for his neighbor. When a few years are come, then I shall go the way whence I shall not return. Chapter 17 My breath is corrupt, my days are extinct, the graves are ready for me. Are, not, are there not mockers with me, and doth not my eye continue in their provocation? Lay down now, put me in a surety with thee. Who is he that will strike hands with me? For thou hast hid their heart from understanding. Therefore shalt thou not exalt them? He that speaketh flattery to his friends, even the eyes of his children shall fail. He hath made me also a byword of the people, and aforetime I was as a tabret. Mine eye also is dim by reason of sorrow, and all my members are as a shadow. Upright men shall be astonished at this. And the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. The righteous also shall hold on his way. And he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. But as for you all, do ye return and come now? For I cannot find one wise man among you. My days are past. My purposes are broken off. Even the thoughts of my heart. They change the night into day. The, the light is short because of darkness. If I wait, my grave is mine house. I have made my bed in the darkness. I have said to corruption, Thou art my father. To the worm, Thou art my mother and my sister. And where is now my hope? As for my hope, who shall see it? They shall go down to the bars of the pit, when our rest together is in the dust. Chapter 18 Then answered Bildad the Shuite, and said, How long will it be ere ye make an end of words? Mark, and afterwards we will speak. Wherefore are we, we counted as beasts, and reputed vile in your sight? He teareth himself in his anger. Shall the earth be forsaken for thee, and shall the rock be removed out of its place? Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his, carbon, and his candle shall be put out with him. The steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall take him against, and the robber shall prevail against him. The snare is laid up for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. He, his confidence shall be rooted up out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. It shall dwell in his tabernacle, but it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. His roots shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. He shall be get driven from light into darkness, and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day, as they that went before were affrighted. Surely such things, such are the dwellings of the wicked. And this is the place of him that knoweth not God. Then, chapter 19. Excuse me. Chapter 19. 
Then Job answered and said, How long will ye vex my soul and break me in pieces with words? These ten times have ye reproached me. Ye are not ashamed that ye make yourselves strange to me. And be it indeed that I have erred, mine error remaineth with myself. If indeed ye will magnify yourselves against me and plead against me my reproach, know now that God hath overthrown me and hath compassed me with his net. Behold, I cry out of wrong, but I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no judgment. He hath fenced up my way that I cannot pass, and he hath set darkness in my past. He hath stripped me of my glory and taken a crown from my head. He hath destroyed me on every side, and I am gone, and my hope hath he removed like a tree. He hath also kindled his wrath against me, and he counteth me unto him as one of his enemies. His troops come together and raise up their way against me and encamp round about my tabernacle. He hath put my brethren far from me, and mine acquaintance are verily estranged from me. My kinsfolk have failed, and my familiar friends have forgotten me. They that dwell in my house and my maids count me for a stranger. I am an alien in their sight. I called my servant, and he gave me no answer. I entreated him with my mouth. My breath is strange to my wife, to my wife though I entreated for the children's sake of mine own body. Yea, young children despise me. I arose, and they spake against me. All my inward friends abhorred me, and they whom I loved are turned against me. My bone cleaveth to my skin and to my flesh, and I am escaped with the skin of my teeth. Have pity upon me, have pity upon me, O ye my friends, for the hand of God hath touched me. Why do ye persecute me as God, and are not satisfied with my flesh? O oh, that my words were now written, O oh, that they were printed in a book, that they were graven with an iron pen, and led in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall under and shall that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. Though my reins be consumed within me, but ye should say, Why persecute we him, seeing the root of the matter is found in me? Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath, for wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment. Amen. God's willing tomorrow. We come back to our regular reading after we do scripture reading, of course. We go to our regular reading, which will start the book of First Samuel tomorrow. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow. Don't have all in your heart. Love with the love of God. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, and love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Please do those things. Why do God ask commandments? And we must keep them. We cannot get into the kingdom of heaven with any art in our heart. And... Father God, I stand as holiness only. Nothing else matters. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love you all with the love of the Lord. You tell your loved ones that you love them. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members. God bless you. Bye-bye.